I am Fantrafora. Oh my god! Yes. Hello everyone, my name is Fantrafora and I am bringing you another video. Today we are going in some World of Tanks again. I'm mainly doing a lot of World of Tanks videos for the like past weeks and months because basically I do videos of what I play and I play World of Tanks a lot so today we got our new tank FV4202 uh, which is the newest tank in my garage which is the British medium let me just start replay this is replay by the way so this is not anything like live recording or anything even though I am using the camera and all that stuff so this is the newest addition to my garage um, I really enjoy this tank. I, ha I haven't been playing too much with it though. Um, I've been playing. This is the second match of me playing with it. Um, uh, in my like legit um, user, I've I've been playing a lot with it um, on the test servers, but didn't really got too much into it. But I'm just gonna f fast forward a little bit so we can get to the action. And this match is actually turning out to be a pretty good match. So I am, uh, because of this is the second match, I am just curious how good it is for climbing. And also, so I'm just tricking a little bit, <coughs> tricking a little bit around to try and find some ways to get up sliding there. Oh my god! So that just did. So I am going to be in a position just here. For now, um, not really sure why I decided to go over here. I just felt like it, and I tried to shoot a shot down on the T54 down there. Even though I do miss, um, and I see he's going back in, and he's going in. He's going out, sorry, and he is. I don't know why he's going out, but for some reason he does, and I managed to get a shot in. I got a decent penetration, so I really do do a lot of damage and I kill the little part as well because he's just standing there and I know that's a one hit kill and again the D54 decided to go out and I just finish him off so that is two fast kills with this tank this tank has a lot of gun depression and elevation it is an amazing gun and if I should compare this one to the like the to the American I would say that this tank wins in almost every way it is smaller which gives it um, a little bit harder to be it's, it's a little bit harder to be detected um, it I, w I would say it's got a better gun and like in the like the full full way of it not not just the penetration run per minute but like how much depression how much of elevation uh, it got also the turret, I think it is a little bit faster to turn, which is a good thing. Also, this tank has a pretty damn good engine power, even though the max limit of the speed is only 40 kilometers, kilometers, kilometers an hour, and which the M48 pattern, the American one, beats it with five kilometers. But it doesn't really. I would rather have a high engine powered tank which can climb faster and generally just move faster all around than a tank that can go fast at that time if, if you get what I mean like um, like this tank is actually moving quite fast all around uh, but the American one is like a little bit fast in downhills but anyways yeah let's just jump I get a shot from the DV Tiger the artillery and I don't want to yeah I've actually used my repair kit no I don't have a repair kit what the heck I didn't really rea realize that before now so I'm moving up we are taking them from behind while other guys are what well, like my other team is just pushing from front and I get this free kill on the tiger too because no one is really caring about it and also a tip for anyone who's playing world of tanks don't really care about how much damage you can do to a single target but if you see a target very low you should automatically think okay I'm gonna get that kill because if you can get the one tank out that is one less cannon you have to care about so like that cannon can do a lot of damage I'm actually waiting to hit that one because I wanted to get the kill but I decided okay let, let me just shoot it isn't that important with kills so like and then, then yeah then again I was like the more damage you can do the more the more EXP and money you are getting you're not getting 
very much extra ESP for the actual kill. Even though getting a kill is cool and all, I know that. So, but yeah, it's tempting to try and kill steal everyone. But if you see, like, one guy working out, having full control, and have been fighting this one tank for a long time, I, I would say you should just let him finish off. Because he have done all the job and you... you know, it's bad to kill him, by the way. It, like, that's just how it is. So, I'm trying to snipe down the object, which I can't seem to hit the first try even though I am able to hit it the second try and, f and secure my fifth kill of the round and I'm just going to be moving down here I know that the E4 is over there I'm I'm don't really caring about it too much because I know someone is over there so and I don't really think I don't really think I actually care and I think about it and as they come down here okay yeah there's an artillery and he's having a pretty lucky shot hitting a lot of HP on me and I'm nearly not killing, it's like 5 HP, come on. And I said, mine, because I wanted the 6th kill since I already are doing great. Like, oh, that was so wrong. Since I already are doing okay. So, and of course I want to get more kills, so I just, I move up. I don't really, yeah, and this is another thing. Uh, I don't know where the artillery is. I don't really think I am spotted. And that's the case, I do exactly this. I do not start the cap. Like, yeah, at the moment now I'm just trying to hit the E4, but look, I'm not going into the cap zone, because then the artillery is going to know where I am, and there I could have been getting the 7th kill if I was a little bit more, like, to the point and concentrating about finding the artillery, but I was more looking down the E4, which just got killed as well. So, good job, Effie, thank you for that, I didn't manage to write back to you. But anyways, this is a... I would say it's a pretty good round. Six kills. Um, I would try to have the score screen. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have a try have the score screen. Um, oh, what is it? What the heck is it called? Um, oh, it's so difficult to find a word. Um, screenshot. There we go. I have to screenshot the win screen because it was pretty epic. I got a lot of medals and achievements in one round plus. 3k exp even though this was a double round i could have been getting a lot more uh, or i don't know why i didn't get a lot more because i did better with this tank than i did with my type which i have my um record which is 2.2 2.2k exp one round that when that is remember that is no double so that is pure exp so yeah well, i'm not going to talk anymore so that was just the basic little video I got for you today I am pretty lazy I haven't been uploading any videos lately I will I, I said it's in every video like I have to be better uploading videos but I just can't seem I have, I, I have so much it's so much enjoyment in playing games I don't really have any time to record even though when this happens I get a good round of course I'm going to record it and share, share it with you guys because I don't want to put out like a bad round because that's probably not going to be very entertaining and sorry if yeah, I'm just there's no action in here so why am I talking to you I probably just clicked away anyways but if you haven't I would like you to subscribe comment like and rate yeah like rate is probably pretty much, pretty much the same though but I would like to know what you think in the comments uh, down below if you would like to do that so that would just be epic so that my name is Fentora and I am bringing you another video. I don't know. I don't know. I have no schedule or anything. But I really do hope you enjoy this video. So I'm not going to talk anymore. Thank you. My name is Fentora and I see you next time. Hopefully. <laughs> oh shit, Fentora. Get a life.